Hello, I'm Kyle Bradshaw from Chaparral Motorsports, and today we're going to take a look at the sidewall of a motorcycle tire and give you a breakdown of what each of these numbers and letters mean. The all-important number is going to be the tire size. In this case, it's a 140 90 15. What that means is it's 140 millimeters wide or across. It's then 90% of that total number in height, and 15 inches is going to be the diameter of the wheel. The next alphanumeric code is going to be the 70H. That means this tire can travel up to 130 miles an hour and carry a load of up to 739 pounds. Again, this number changes and letter changes depending on how fast the tire can go and how much it can carry. While not a number or a letter, another very important thing on a tire is this balance dot. If the balance dot is not mounted at the valve stem, you're going to have to add lots and lots of weight to this in order to get it to be balanced once mounted. Now another very important number that people love to know but they don't know how to read is the date code. Right here you're going to see 38 and 16. For this particular tire it was manufactured the 38th week of 2016. So essentially this tire is a very, very fresh tire. Just produced at the end of last year. A couple other things to take a look at is this is going to give you your cold tire pressure. This is manufactured suggested pressure for this tire at max load when it's cold. Of course, that can change upon your riding conditions. If you're riding just solo with no luggage, your, your bike may be much, much lighter than that max load rating. Um, if you're riding in snow or super hot weather, you may again decide to modify that pressure. But be aware, go to the manufacturer's website, take a look at what their recommended pressures are for those different situations. Now, a letter that doesn't exist on this particular tire, but does on lots of tires, is going to be an R right here near the rim diameter number. That R is going to indicate a radial tire. So for this particular tire, this is a bias tire. And that is the key indicator on whether you're looking at a bias or radial ply tire. If the R is there, it's radial. If it's not, it's bias. In this case, this is a four ply nylon carcass tire. Some tires can be used in either the front or the rear. This particular tire is definitely a rear application only, and this directional aerial tells you which direction to mount that on your rim. And there you have it. That's basically the nuts and bolts of what the numbers and letters on the side of your motorcycle tire mean. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comments below or give us a phone call. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you see all of our upcoming videos. I'm Kyle Bradshaw. Until next time, take care and ride safe.